It's a bit wet and wild today here in Perth. Most of the time we like it dry, but sometimes you want the heavens to open up and the floodgates to flow. And it can be the same with Apex on Autonomous. Let me explain. Okay, dried off a little bit now. So what do I mean by opening up the floodgates when it comes to Autonomous and in particular Apex on Autonomous? I thought I'd show you with a little demonstration. So first of all, let's check out my cloud database here. I'm running Autonomous and you can see it's got six OCPUs and a terabyte of storage. What I thought I'd do is put a huge table into that database. Here we go. Let's let me show you that table. So select. And there you go, you can see I've got a single table there. It's about 430 gigabytes, about half my allocation. It's gonna take a fair while to query that, but luckily with six OCPUs, I can connect to one of the higher powered services and it should run fairly quickly. Let's run a standard kind of aggregation query against that table and see how long it takes. Okay, so that's been running now and it's connected to the medium service so it has plenty of parallelism going on. Let's see how long it takes. And you can see there, that's pretty impressive. Half a terabyte scanned in just over 30 seconds. Very impressive once you have plenty of CPU and parallelism that's available on the autonomous database. 30 seconds is very good for half a terabyte of data, but typically my end users aren't SQL Plus users. I want to expose that kind of functionality in a tool much more powerful and user-friendly such as Apex. So I built a little simple classical report sitting on top of that query, but I've given the user the power now to nominate the number of buckets in their width bucket clause. So here's my application, they nominate the buckets and let's give that query a run and see if we get the same 30 second response time. Hmm, five minutes. That doesn't seem right. So is there some fundamental issue in Apex that's causing us to slow down? Not really. This has nothing to do with Apex per se. This is just the performance you get from the database when you're only using a single thread. In fact, we can run that exact same query on SQL Plus and we'll see pretty much the same kind of time frame. Let's give that a go. Running the same query, I'll just paste that in. And we can see the same kind of time frame, just over five minutes when you're running this just with a single thread. The big question is, if Apex always uses the low service, how do I get that tremendous performance that I can get from SQL Plus? Apex is a fantastic tool for data warehouses, but obviously I'd like to get access to all the power of that CPU from Apex as well as other tools. Thankfully, it's very easy. We made a change to Apex to allow you to request what style of service or consumer group you get access to when populating regions inside your Apex applications. All you have to do is go to the optimizer hint, which obviously is for normal optimizer hints, but then you can type in the service that you actually require. In this case, I'm going for the high service. And this is a directive to Apex that when I run the query that populates that particular region, I will switch into the nominated service to get full access to the CPUs that I have available at my disposal in my autonomous database. 
Now I'll give that another run as well. And we'll see how long it takes now, even from Apex. And as you can see, we now get the 30 second response time in Apex, just like we got when we were doing it from SQL Plus. Many of us have been brought up building Apex applications on transactional style databases, uh, data entry, etc. But the reality is, when you look at the power inside the query engine for Apex, the ability to filter and aggregate and limit rows, and obviously in the later versions, the faceted search facility, what that means is it is actually a perfect fit for data warehousing applications. The ability for end users to be able to flexibly manipulate the results from their queries makes it a perfect fit for those large data volumes and aggregations in data warehouses. And now with these new optimizer hints, or these directives inside Apex, you can take full advantage of the enormous processing power in the autonomous database. So Apex and Autonomous, still a perfect fit even for data warehouses.